this is basically the coach when it came in. All the windows were still in it. This was, at the time, at Custom Coach, we were not blanking out windows. Shortly after this, we started blanking them out. A picture of it sitting in our paint shop. We were just trying to lay the coach out, and trying to figure out what we wanted. Um, I didn't know what kind of stripes or what stripe I wanted to use or what paint job that I wanted to put on it. So we took a day and wasted some masking tape to figure it out. Here we're starting to remove the windows so that we can blank the windows out and um, make it more look like a custom coach that uh, doesn't have all the windows and does not look so much like a charter bus. We have removed the windows here and installed the aluminum. We have also insulated behind them and um, getting ready to start putting the trim on it. This is a picture of the front of the coach. It had the old style halogen headlights in it, which we actually removed and put LED lights in it. And we removed the side rub rails on the entrance door and the steering door and added um, aluminum rub rails with polished stainless steel covers over them. And then we painted the front bumper burgundy. This is a picture where we had installed the aluminum over the rear window, the center windows, I'm sorry. And we had started sanding the old paint and prepping for the new. This is a picture where we are prepping still for paint and we're getting close to putting primer on it for the first time so that we can sand it out and uh, start prepping for the final paint. We have primed over the old stripes and sanded them for the first time and we are getting ready to put another coat of primer on it and sand it again. This is the front of the coach where we repaired all the rock chips and um, on the front bumper there was a lot of chips um, from just a lot of years of driving and uh, we've repaired all of those, sanded them out and prepped it and getting ready for paint as well. Here we have the coach in primer and we are back to wasting masking tape again trying to figure out the exact paint job and paint scheme that we want to put on it. Here is some more masking tape wasting and having a good time at it and uh, ready to change our mind again. It just wasn't what I wanted. Here we're getting closer to having the final paint scheme laid out on it. Um, I'm starting to feel better about it and uh, we'll go with this. I am a fan of black and red and white and um, this is going to be the colors on this coach eventually, we hope. This is the bottom and the side after we put the white on it and uh, we're getting ready for the next color. Here we have all of the colors on the coach. 
the base is the majority of it is all on. Uh, we still have a little bit to go on the back sides, but we're pretty close. There is no clear on it at this point. The coach is now cleared with the first coat of clear. It is in the drying stage and we will go back and do at least two more coats of clear on it before we're done. This is when the coach was painted before anything was added back on it, um, before it was wet sanded and rubbed. We backed it outside just to get a good look at it and see what we thought. This is the opposite side of the coach after we had painted it before we started reassembling. Uh, this is the coach after we had started reassembling it. It is back in the shop and we're getting ready to finish the headlights and finish the assembly of the coach. Here we have the coach outside. Uh, the clear is done, uh, nice and shiny. You can see the clouds in the paint job. You can also see the new tail lights that we came up with. We actually polished the old housings and machined out the polished stainless steel panels and we recessed LED lights behind them. Now they are very bright and when the turn signals come on you do know that they are on.